In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily buy cryptocurrencies on the MEXC global platform. If you want to create an account on MEXC, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link, and then you will get to exactly this page right here, and then you can follow all the steps along. They also always have pretty nice bonuses available that you can pick up. As you can see, if we go down here for some simple things that you can do, you can receive these nice bonuses. So there are many of them. So if you use the link from the video description, you will get here, you can create an account, you're eligible for the bonuses, and you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. So now I want to show you how you can actually deposit money to your account and to do that we simply go up here to our wallet and then we click on overview here we can see all of our balances that we have on our account as you can see right now i only have us dollar tether deposited but of course you can deposit any cryptocurrency you would like and to deposit you simply go up here and click on deposit right here on the left side you can select the token that you want to deposit so you can simply click down here and then as you can see there are all of these different currencies that you can deposit. For example, you can click on Bitcoin right here. Then you can select your network that you want to use. So obviously you can always use the normal Bitcoin um, network. Then you have your address right here. You can copy that to your clipboard and then send Bitcoin to this address. Or you can also use, for example, one of these other um, networks. Of course, you always have to check if from the other exchange or from your wallet, which you're sending the money, that they also support the same network. And that's just how it works for any other currency. So if we go, for example, for US dollar Tether, there you have many different um, networks that are available. ERC20, for example, but they often have higher fees. So I mostly prefer to use the Tron network, TRC20. There you have very low fees. And then you can simply copy your address down here and then send money from your wallet or your other exchange to MEXC. The second option that I also want to show you is how you can deposit with fiat money. So US dollar or euro or any other fiat currency. And there you simply go up here to the left top and then you click on buy crypto and then you click right here on credit slash debit card. Then you will get to this page right here and now you can use a third party service to deposit with your fiat money right here. They also they don't only support Visa or MasterCard or a credit card. You can also use, for example, your bank card or, for example, Apple Pay. If you choose right here, you can see there are different um, service providers that you can use. Let's play, for example, here you can choose your fiat currency. Uh, so in this case, let's go, for example, for you could use US dollar or in this case, let's click on euro. Then you can say what currency you would like to, to have right here. Obviously, you can deposit whatever you want, for example, US dollar tether. And then later on, you can exchange that for any currency you want to have on the platform. In this case, let's just go for Bitcoin. And here we can now type in the amount of euro we want to deposit. For example, let's let's type in 500 euro. And then as you can see, that's the amount of Bitcoin we're getting. And then we can choose a service provider. Here you can choose between all of these all of them support visa and mastercard and apple pay some of them also support a normal bank card or google pay for example down here in this case let's choose banks for example but you can check uh, them out and it doesn't really matter which one you want to use then we can simply click down here on buy btc we have to accept the terms and then click on confirm. And then as you can see, we are getting redirected to Banksa to the third party platform. And then here we can again select the payment method we want to use. For example, a SEPAD bank transfer or Visa or MasterCard or Apple Pay. As you can see, they have a little bit of higher fees but whichever one you want to, to choose. And then you can just click on create order and then go through the process. All right, so once you have made any deposit, you can simply check that by going up here back to your wallet and click on overview. And then you can see if the money has already arrived. A crypto transfer is usually really fast. It can take up to maybe let's say an hour and fiat deposits depends on the method you're using. Here it can take up to a few days. Once you have money deposited to your account, we can now exchange it and buy any cryptocurrency we want. And to do that, we simply go up here and and then go to markets. Here, as you can see, we get a list of all the trading spur that are available on the platform, which is a whole lot. We can actually scroll down here. There are many different cryptocurrencies that we can buy. Make sure up here that you are on spot. And then here you can choose which which trading pair you want. So I would always recommend you just use the US dollar tether one because here you can always um, you have many different trading pairs. As you can see, for example, if you go to Bitcoin, you only have a few, not that many. And just use US dollar tether because there you have all these different trading pairs. Obviously, if you have just like me, if you have US dollar tether deposited, you can simply buy any cryptocurrency as you want right here. If you have any other cryptocurrency deposit, for example, you have Bitcoin deposited or you bought it with a, with the fiat on ramp or any other cryptocurrency first you select the trading pair that you have and exchange it for us dollar tether and then afterwards once you have sold the cryptocurrency for us dollar tether you can now buy um, any other cryptocurrency with us dollar tether 
Um, one other thing I want to tell you is right here, don't be um, confused with this 10x or 2x. It doesn't mean that it's leveraged right here. Obviously, we're on the spot market. And this is just the option. You could also use this for margin trading and make a leveraged position on this trading pair. But um, don't worry, these are all just the normal trading pairs. And I will show you how you can simply buy any cryptocurrency right here. So the next step that you can do is simply choose your cryptocurrency. So in this case, I'm just going to go for Bitcoin and then we go up here to the right side and click on trade. Then we get to this page right here. And this is actually the trading page where we can control all of the trades that we want to do, all the purchases or if you want to sell anything, you always go to this side right here. Um, let's go through all the different components. It might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but it's actually really simple. Um, we are just gonna go through all the different elements that we have right here. So here on the left side, we have the order book. So we have all the selling orders in the market right now here, up here in the red. And down here in green, we have all the buying orders in the market right now. Right here on the right side in the middle, this is the trading chart where we can just see the price chart. You could actually, if you go to FTFX right here and then for example, click on MA and volume, it's a more simple visualization where we only see the price chart. Up here you can see, you can choose between the different time frames. for example, 15 minute candles, 30 minutes, one hour or four hours. So you can see more of the chart, what's going on. Um, right here on the right side next to it, you can see again, this is just the same as we've seen before, all the different uh, trading pairs that we have with US dollar tether. So you could just scroll down and choose, for example, another cryptocurrency trading pair that you want, or you can search for one up here. If we get down a little bit here, we can see all the different market trades that are happening right now in the market. And one last thing I want to show you if you scroll down a little bit, down here we can see an order history. So we can see uh, if we have, for example, limit orders opened, we can see our history and we can of course always also see our trading history. So once we've, once we've made a purchase or we've sold something, we can always check that right here in the trade history. All right, so let's go up and let's check out this main part right here, which is really important. This is actually where we can control all of our trades. So right now we want to make a purchase. So we want to buy Bitcoin for US dollar tether. So we're gonna focus on this left section right here. Obviously, if you want to sell something, if you have, for example, BTC, I don't have anything available right now, but if you would have, you can simply um, have it right here and then sell it. In my case, I only have, as you can see, around 1,700 US dollar tethers de um, deposited right here that I can use right now. All right, so now in this case, we want to buy something. So here we can choose our order type. I would just recommend you to use market order. If you would choose limit order, you could set a certain price at which you want the order to be triggered. But in this case, we're just gonna click on market. And as you can see on price, there's no field anymore because we are buying immediately at the current market price. Uh, which is just uh, much easier and we are entering the market immediately. So our purchase gets completed immediately. Down here, we can then uh, set our size. So how much do you want to buy? So you can obviously type in right here, for example, $500. And then as you can see, it gets right here, or you can use the slide controller and choose how much percent of your available balance that you have up here you want to invest. So you could choose, for example, 100% or yeah, just 70% whatever amount you like, or just type it in, for example, $1,000. And then all you have to do is go down here and click on buy BTC, and then the purchase is completed. Don't forget to create an account on MEXC by using the link down from the video description. So you will get to this page right here and you can follow all the steps as I showed them. And you're also able to pick up all these nice bonuses right here. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.